Law Warrior Online. The Griffin 2C. Overview. When the Griffin first went into production, it was considered a heavy mech. While its classification has changed over the centuries it's been in production, mech pilots still cite the Griffins as one of their favourites. One of the trio of classic medium mechs available in the Inner Sphere, along with the Shadowhawk and Wolverine, the Griffin has always been the most flexible unit of the successor lords. The clans also used this popular mech, though they substantially revised it to make it better fit their own needs. Capabilities The Griffin shed 15 tons at the hands of clan technicians, distinguishing it from the Wolverine and Shadowhawk. This customization was possible because of the unparalleled technical development of the clans. The clans have also made substantial changes to the Griffin's structure. The prominent arm baffles characteristic of the mech have been redesigned to more fully cover the vulnerable shoulder joints. Ferrofibrous armor creates the remaining visual differences, being far bulkier than traditional armor. The distinctive over-the-shoulder barreled LRM launcher has been replaced by sleeker twin LRM-5 launchers on each torso. The primary armament is now a large laser instead of a PPC and has moved to the center torso, freeing the arms. Another addition to the Griffin 2C is a head-mounted small laser, providing a bare minimum of anti-infantry capability in urban combat. The weapons profile creates a picture of the Griffin 2C as a fast recon mech, capable of providing ample fire support to light missions when required. The mech's configuration gives it close combat potential, which may become evident as clan pilots recognize the advantage of this form of attack as used by their Inner Sphere counterparts, and begin using it themselves. The Griffin 2C is a common second-line mech in all clans that took part in the invasion of the Inner Sphere, and variants, the primary version of the Griffin was first encountered on the planets controlled by Ghost Bear. The Jade, Falcon and Wolf clans also used the primary configuration, Clan Novacat, however, used the Griffin for close combat support rather than light raiding, replacing the LRM launchers with Streak SRM-2s. As a slightly better write-up here for the Griffin 2C, still it could have been bulked out in TRO 3055, and to be honest, the Project Phoenix version uh, didn't really add much to the deal, unfortunately. I mean, there's, there's a bit of history there about mainly about the Nova Cats, how they used the Griffin 2C and just got their ass kicked by everybody in the in the abjurement after the end of the invasion. But it doesn't really talk much about the Griffin 2C, like the reason it was built or any of those kind of more interesting details, unfortunately. However, that said, it's a 40 tonner now with Endo Steel 240 standard power plant with a cruise speed of 60.9 kph and a max speed of 97.2. It has six jump jets to jump 180 meters with armor by ferrofibrous, and its armament is an extended range large, an extended range small, and four LRM 5s. At the time of the writing for this, it was an unknown manufacturer, an unknown communication system, and an unknown targeting and tracking system. However, that said, it's very easy to just be able to go and search for the <laughs> for the Griffin 2C, as I'm about to do, and their manufacturing plant will be, well, Irisi Alpha, Barcella Alpha, Brim Ironworks, Trelsha Heavy Industries in the Innisfere, and manufacturing plant SFF FK2. So, there you go with that. Stat-wise, it moves 696, which is pretty good. It has the same heat dissipation as the Phoenix Hawk 2C at 20, with 10, uh, provided by 10 double heat sinks. It has 9 on the armor wise for the head, 17 on the CT, 6 on the rear, 15 on the right and left torso, 5 on the rear, and 11 on the arms, and 20 on the legs. So, as it says, all of its missile weaponry is now spread between both side torsos, so effectively it has an LRM-20 built into its torsos instead of the standard LRM-10 and it has the ER large laser, which obviously does a little less damage, but it's yeah, it's an okay trade-off. I don't know if I like this more or less, or whether it's even could be considered a proper upgrade of the standard Griffin. Granted, it has the ability to engage a little easier at close range because it doesn't have to rely on the minimum range issues with the LRM and the PPC because it can switch that out to use the ER large, but that said... I don't know, four LRM-5s, You mean it means you're rolling four shots, but potentially only hitting with less missile weaponry. It's it's an interesting trade-off. I'd say it's more of a kind of optional way of approaching it. It's certainly quicker, has better heat dissipation, of course, but it's lighter. Um, 
and again, it's got this amazing anime type artwork with a little Gundam like gold thing on the top of its head and and all that. It's it's an unusual one. I don't. <laughs> Some of the two C's, they when they get a redesign like the one that you're probably seeing now from the uh, uh, from the more recent Ill Clan Recognition books. It's a better look for it, and it's definitely more in keeping with the original Griffin, an idea that the clans took it and improved it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's a strange one. Um, I don't dislike it, though. It's uh, it uh, The two Cs, I think, are quite fun a lot of the time. They, they bring something a little bit different, and I think it was a nice exercise for the writers at the time to come up with designs... Uh, like, if the clans took this in the sphere mech, and what would they do? What would you do to make it better? What would you do to kind of introduce the clan tech to it, or alter its role? So I think these were all nice little, like, challenges at the time for them to come up with something a little bit more interesting and different, uh, but still kind of the same. It, it's, uh, it's fun to see them. And I also like the fact that they're all kind of real line units that weren't really seen as often on the front, so these would have been kind of a novelty uh, for a lot of Innisfear pilots to come up against, you know, a clan version of their own mechs, uh, rather than, you know, the Omnimechs. So, because these, these are battle mechs instead, they aren't Omnimech designs either, so they follow the same rules as any other battle mech. Uh, they just have the advantage of having things like clan weaponry and the, uh, the fact that if they do use an XL engine, they don't pop instantly when the side source is destroyed, and they've got double heat sinks. All kinds of nasty advantages that the clans enjoy, so it's usual stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. I'll leave it there. Griffin 2C, yes, very nice, very nice, and very evil. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening, everybody, and um, have a good one. Goodbye.